Good morning. It's Monday. Here we go again. Let's make this week a good one. So stay positive. Remember Jesus is on the throne and that should always keep your attitude uh, in the place it needs to be. Um, we talked yesterday about, uh, about uh, Peter chapter 2 and uh, where he teaches the church, listen, you are a holy priesthood, a, a possessed people, a people of special possession, uh, on and on the list goes. We, we love that. We, we love what that text says. We love it so much that we skip over the front, front part. Did you see what he said at, fir at first? Because of what Christ is doing, because of Christ who he is, therefore, because of just what I told you at the end of chapter 1, rid yourself of all malice, all um, um, evil, all kind of slander, da 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 There's this whole long list of things that you are to get rid of. Now, notice what he doesn't say. He doesn't say, I want you to pray about these things in your life. He doesn't say, you need to go to your group and talk about what you need to do. He doesn't say any of that. What he says is, you know right now a handful of things that need to be dealt with. When you get into your quiet place, when you're by yourself, you know, hey, I need to work on my anger. I need to work on this relationship. I need to do better. Here, there, everybody knows that list. Deal with it. That's what the Bible says. Deal with it. Take the next steps that you know to do, okay? Don't expect Jesus to use flawed building materials to build his holy tabernacle. And that's what we expect, okay? We say to ourselves, well, I, I know I'm, I'm a sinner. Everybody's a sinner, da 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 da, da right? And I know I have this problem. I know I've got that problem, but... You know, I'm not as bad as that guy, whoever that guy is. And it's funny to me, we always compare ourselves to the latest axe murderer. We never compare ourselves to St. Teresa or anybody like that. It's, it's not as bad as that guy, and it's not hurting anybody. Yes, it is. And that's one of the reasons you need to be in a group. Okay, that's because the first person you lie to is yourself. Okay, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't bother me. Yes, it does. And you need a group around you going, ah, uh, come on, man. What are those things in your life that you know about that you need to deal with? Deal with it. Don't expect Jesus to build a beautiful tabernacle if we're not giving him good stuff to work with. You know, listen, there's an old story about a shoeshine boy outside of the bus, uh, outside the bus station. He had just put the final pop on a beautiful pair of shoes. It was a span, span. Fantastic shine job. The next man stood up, st stepped up, sat down in the chair, put his shoes up, and he says, I want my shoes to look just like that guy's shoes. And the shoe shine boy looked at him and he said, Mister, if you want your shoes to look like that, you're going to have to bring me better leather. You can only do so much with an old raggedy pair of shoes. I can't make them look like a brand new pair. Jesus won't deal with things in your life if you don't give him permission to. And if there is a weakness in the church, it is a weakness within you. It is a weakness within me. That's why it is important on this Monday that we get a good start on this week and we find those one or two things we need to deal with and we need to deal with them. Now, let me give you one final warning. Don't try to deal with everything. Uh, you'll spend your time cycling in a, in a no-win game. Okay, find one thing you really need to work on. Work on that this week. Okay, just that. And then we'll re-up next Monday on something else. But what is the one thing you need to work on this week? I'll give you 60 seconds to figure it out, and you can get started. And I'll see you tomorrow.